We are almost at the end of the conference. It's flown by, probably because I felt the learning curve for me wasn't quite so steep this year as it was last year. Uh, Simon has some uh, news from the AGM. Yes, so hopefully we'll be able to pop the slides over and announce the results of the AGM. Okay, so we've just had uh, member director elections. And I'm really pleased to announce that in the buyer supply category, we have Samuel Cliff, who's been uh, uh, elected. Uh, Sam, are you here in the hall? I can't. Great, Sam's got his hand up at the back. Do you want to stick your hand up, Sam? We just say congratulations, Sam. <laughs> And from our supplier member director, we have AHM Kamrosman Chowdhury. Are you here, sir? I don't think he's here. Anyway, can we just wish him congratulations as well? <laughs> so, thank you, thank you both. Uh, congratulations, and also we want to thank our departing directors as well uh, for their great service. So, thank you. Just a few of my layperson's observations, and I apologise if they seem a little naive, but. Last year, we were talking about how to get beyond compliance. This year, it's about how do we turn all that output into better outcomes. And there's an acceptance that there is a huge amount of data out there, but some of it is more useful than others. Some of it is good data. Some of it is a bit pointless data. Um, so there is a need to be more discerning with effective uh, analytical tools and, and predictor tools. And, and uh, Henry, of course, was talking about how AI might help us you know, predict what might happen next based on the pattern of what's gone before. Um, a great deal of um, desire for tra more transparency, the benefits of transparency, but we were also hearing as well that comes with, as a, as a burden for some, the, the idea of the, the data fatigue, collection fatigue, and also how do you find the time to fill in all those necessary forms in order to be more transparent? Um, regulation, different people have different views of that, so depending on what kind of government you're dealing with, will the politicians, can they be relied upon to pass the right kind of regulation to get us where we uh, need to be? As we've seen, it's quite difficult sometimes to find the right compromise. Um, collaboration. This morning, I was slightly surprised by one of the polls which said that there probably needs to be less collaboration at times, because... If it's appropriate collaboration, great. If you're well partnered with somebody else, it's probably going to lead to a better outcome. But sometimes those partnerships can be wrong and they can get bogged down if the process is, is, is difficult. We heard that very much from Sally Urin about the importance to make sure your collaboration is properly set out with a goal in mind from the very outset. Simon, it's your first conference, having only taken over as CEO a couple of weeks ago. Interested to hear your reflections. Oh, thank you. So I, I, I think I, I set to, um, to many of you, I set a challenge, actually. I, I asked you to come and, uh, come and grab me, tell me, tell, you, tell me what you think we should be doing at SEDEX, what you like, what you'd like us to change. And it's been amazing. I've had over 100 of you come and grab me, come and hand me a business card and tell me your thoughts. Um, I think, for me, I heard a massive range of opinions, and I heard a, a just, a just incredible passion. That was something everybody had. But I think I could probably boil it down into probably five key themes, if that makes sense. I think number one theme for me was Smeta. You all hugely value the Smeta audit. You hugely value both where it's come from and where it's going. You're very, very keen that Smeta evolves and changes with you. I heard a lot about the competing standards and a lot about how do we make sure Smeta is relevant to you and is, is able to allow you to continue your businesses. So I've heard that loud and clear. Uh, number two I've heard is about our reliability. Uh, we know that our systems have had some ups and downs as we've evolved. And that's something we've got to fix. And what we've got to make sure is that we absolutely stick to the core of what we do and do it brilliantly. So it's my commitment to this conference that we'll make sure we can do our best to make our reliability as strong uh, as possible. We know that if you're a supplier on the other side of the world, where it's 2 a.m. in the morning here, it's no good if our systems are down for maintenance and you need to upload something to our systems or query the systems. So we'll make sure we can fix that and solve that problem. Number three thing I think I've heard a lot of you talk about is data quality. I think you're very, very keen that our data is reliable, that you can trust what you see on our systems. Now, we know that there are many mechanisms to validate that data, and we know it's important that we work on lots of those. That's audit increasing the, the transparency and ability of the audit process, but also beyond that as well. And we will be working on that as a strategy, and I've heard that loud and clear. 
Uh, the fourth point I've heard a lot, and I think it's really key for us, is our diversity as aesthetics. You know, we were born here in the UK, um, but we're no longer just a UK business. We are a global business with six global offices, and we know we need to keep expanding. But it's, it's more than just the SEDEX office locations. It's about the diversity of how we think and how we behave. And that goes right down to how we capacity build and we help small, tiny suppliers, tiny farms, tiny owner-managed businesses to get on our system and start that responsible sourcing journey. So how we think as a business and how we think and how we bring you in and help, to help us to think that way, with your suppliers and your buying chain, also really important. And the final fifth thing I heard, um, which I think is absolutely vital, is transparency. How do we as a community work to make sure that our data is transparent and is available so that we can encourage best practice and encourage the change we all, we all want to seek? So five really important themes. I will definitely take those back, and I will definitely be working on those and look at how we can integrate them into our strategy and make sure we remain relevant. So that's what I've heard. And uh, before we go, I just want to hear from some of the people who've been here at the conference what you've thought of the last two days. So very much looking forward to learning and also you know, meet some people so we can learn some new tools, new techniques. To... As well as catching up on the latest things from SEDEX and what's happening in the programme, it's to get to meet people uh, and really share some ideas. So I'm just interested to see what's going on and how we can use SEDEX in our business. So we're a big supporter of SEDEX. Um, we really believe in the one system for a supply chain, so it really makes our world a lot easier and efficient. We are using SEDEX to enable us to have that level of transparency that we otherwise wouldn't have. The main challenges are trying to change attitudes. As a business, we see um, modern slavery and responsible recruitment as our biggest challenge. The biggest challenge is the regulation side of things and the legislation. The biggest challenge, I think, is transparency, trustability of the product. I think we have to think about how do we get buyers to behave ethically in the decisions that they make and the behaviours that they exemplify. The best product at the cheapest prices. That's the biggest challenge. That's a utopia buyer members live in. The conference has been a fantastic chance to network, to meet loads of people with the same ambition um, and a fantastic event to celebrate the year ahead in ethical sourcing. There is of course uh, another opportunity for you to have your say and I hope you'll take advantage of that. Uh, please fill in the survey, let the SEDEX team know what you've enjoyed, what you think needs work on and it will inform future events. And final thanks to all of the companies and organisations that have sponsored various aspects of the conference this year and without you and much of it would not be able to happen. And just a reminder, before you go, there are refreshments to send you on your way. Thanks, Martin. So it just remains for me uh, to close proceedings. I just want to finish with a few words of thanks. Firstly, thank you for welcoming me. Thank you for all of the comments that you've made. Um, this conference wouldn't have happened without an incredible amount of work. Uh, believe it or not, there are 75 members of SEDEX here who have all been part of planning, executing, making sure you're all in the right rooms, making sure that all the things that you've said have been captured. They've done an absolutely astonishing job. So could you just put your hands together for the SEDEX team, please? Thank you. Now, it, it goes without saying, I don't think we could have had such slick proceedings and had so much fun without uh, my phenomenal co-host, Martin, <laughs> um, who has done an incredible job over the last two days of keeping us on track, keeping me on track as well. Uh, so I just want to say a big word of thanks. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a us. pleasure. It's always a pleasure. And we have a little gift for you here. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I just say thank you to Peter for keeping us on time with his flashcards at the front? <laughs>
And the, the last and final thanks goes to all of you for coming along. This conference would be nothing without your input, nothing without you listening and taking stuff away. Um, we have, thank you for sitting through sessions, for contributing, for asking questions, for coming and grabbing us, coming and telling us things, tips on how to improve. You've been absolutely amazing. Thank you also if you've been watching this online. Uh, we know over 600 of you have, have, have signed in uh, at various points in the conference. Uh, it's been incredible. So if you're sitting in your pajamas at home or you're having your breakfast watching this, we massively appreciate you joining us. Um, it's great to have that global participation. So enjoy the refreshments, enjoy your safety at home, and hopefully see you all over the next 12 months. Thank you. Thank you.